Good morning everyone and welcome back to the graveyard to take one win uh, where I dissect old website and redo it as new um, for limited fun and no profit and uh, last time we ended up with um, well theoretical wrap up uh, of displaying authorship um, but um, problems at the end, so let's go and try and fix them. Um, there was a break in streaming because I have uh, been fixing the old site, uh, more specifically the emails uh, that were there. So I have discovered that uh, you can actually negotiate with AWS <laughs> and that AWS is uh, blocking outbound uh, emails by default. Uh, but Fortunately, uh, you can talk to them and uh, get yourself unstuck. Uh, alas, uh, since uh, last time, um, there are some new exceptions in our century. So let's start with that and debug production. So, uh, the I mean, the main problem that, uh, that I have, uh, that uh, I mean that we had was that uh, Trying to edit an alchemist tool uh, for a particular object that is destroying our uh, that is destroying our layout. Uh, so in here, you know, if I go locally, oh, I have locally fixed that. So if I go on production um, and Go to alchemist tools, this is broken because of broken HTML. Now, if I go locally and go change it, um, this works well. If I go on production, I get timeout and application error. And I have no idea why. Um, it is worth noting though, uh, what I have missed last time is that this isn't particular to that one item. If I go to common articles and click something, I also has an error. Um, and that also works locally. It is not universal. Uh, if I go to home page and uh, I go to news, that is fine. You can also see that this took a very long time even on localhost. So, this is clearly something is wrong. Uh, it is a regression, it is not uh, specific to Alchemist tools. And I think it may very well be uh, related to all those um, model attributes and the fact that it's potentially doing um, some weird uh, additional queries. Uh, also of note, after a while, this is true to check one in podcast where I drink check one in. Important detail. Okay, so how to debug this? I mean, this is one of the hardest things to do uh, when you can't really replicate locally and um, there is a production problem. Uh, when it's a speed problem, uh, the best way to do that is usually metrics. Unfortunately, access to metrics is quite limited on Heroku. Uh, so let's just see, am I still locked in? Yep. Um, plus I don't have uh, them on hobby. <laughs> okay. Uh, in which case, uh, I think that in this case, it may, may be, uh, we may be possible to get a hint of that just by looking at uh, what's happening locally and SQL queries. And for that, there was a project co called Django Debug Toolbar. So let me see whether it still exists. And it seems it does. And it's even getting released. So. Uh, this is something that we 
only want to do that um, for localhost. Uh, so let's not put it into requirements. Install it manually. And in the locals.py, let me cover all of this. Uh, can I do, I can, so let's import, oh, what is it, um, installed apps, and installed apps is a list, so uh, let's append uh, debug underscore toolbar. And apparently we also need to add it to URL conf. So let's see, I don't, uh, let's make sure I don't have anything in progress. Okay, uh, one branch I'm at. Uh, forum, I mean, this is what we're going to do after. Uh, but maybe let's start by going back to master and creating, uh, well, fix production, create a new branch, um, just to make sure we are not, uh, doing some weird forum dependencies. Uh, so in URLs, uh, we need to at debug and also this we can't commit and this is hard to do um, just locally so I'm going to just live with that uh, and comment it out afterwards and we want to also add middleware and the middleware up and the back toolbar middleware. Uh, the order is important, sure. Okay. Do we have internal APIs? We don't, and I would say this is for local development. So, um, local APIs. All right. Is the server still running? No. Let's try again. Uh, okay. Is this caused by what I did, or is it a new state of the master? New state of the master. What? And the reason for that is that we don't have JSON field. In base user in meta, what? Has the installation accidentally upgraded something? Yes. Fuck. So what Django I'm on now? Uh, I have a feeling that this is going to be the Django debug toolbar 
requiring Django that's too new. CSG. Oh man, uh, two dots two. Okay, not what we want. So um, if we would go back to say three one one, I don't want to compare. I want to go to that. No, I want to see the whole tree. Yeah. But more specifically, set up CFG. So still two dot two. Um, okay, let's try two dot this two dots two. Which still have config in setup.py and that requires Django one dot eleven. Okay. So we need version before three if I count this correctly. Three was the major change. Alright, let's do that again. And we have to put that into parentheses. Cool. And now let's reinstall the requirements to make sure we are on the correct Django. All right. So now the run server should be able to run. Cool. And we actually add the URLs and everything. And now if uh, I reload uh, maybe it needs additional installation to actually display enabling malware configuring Okay, configuration. This is the default value, that's perfectly fine. Uh, Hmm. Wait, also, is there a way to display documentation for previous versions? Fuck you. Yeah. Oh, here. Uh, crap. I would really appreciate being able to do pre 3, but let's see. Well, there is a con configuration change now. Okay. We have the bug through. Be 
Jesus. Okay, so one thing that I can try to do is to put this directly into middleware's right and i think that noise may be the one that's interjecting us so let me try what happens here Waiting for localhost, okay. And this works. Hmm. So just making sure that uh, the the book to bar is there. Let me also be explicit with this. Um, yeah, this would cause problems if it were be there. So let me just see whether I can do something. But this is like the roots are available indeed. Um, it is the, the bug toolbar that is not intercepted injected um, so out of curiosity too much um, hmm. <coughs> we are relying on too many stuff Is wrong. Not the dish cache and come on, yeah, this should work. TM. Just see if it's not one of my blockers, but no. And so 
So the toolbar in just just before slash body. And it's definitely not doing that. Okay, any better way to debug this? Oh, Django contrib static files. So, A, this is not a bad point. Um, and it seems that it needs to be um, at the beginning. It's uh, um, well, but when I have commented out, that's a good point. We huh. So I have uh, I I actually have an interesting mistake here. I have Django Contrib statics files enabled, but I have white noise middle middleware. Which is working. But I'm actually not sure how come it's working even when I comment out the white noise. Because uh, this is supposed to require exactly this configuration that I'm not providing. And I'm definitely not giving it a static URL. So I'm actually not sure how come this is working. Like, who is serving this? Huh. Yeah, so this is this is that else. It's like I'm 
configuring static file this sure but that is supposed not to handle like not to auto append into URL so This is kind of weird. So this is working now even without, I mean, we don't have white noise. Is it possible that it needs debug through at the time of uh, installing the app? That would be weird, but I don't know. Nevertheless, uh, this should be correctly configured now, but we still don't have the static toolbar. And I guess let's just edit it. I mean, Unless I want to go full on debugging session, uh, debug toolbar, middleware. Decide whether it's active. Not show toolbar. Wait, so this is something that I have to or don't have to. do default is jungle to bar middleware show to bar jungle to bar middleware show to bar ah uh -huh. say again oh middleware dot Show toolbar. Focus matter. No, so this should be fine. I mean, let me just print it. It's the easiest currently. Um. I 
and saving. Um, false, why? Well, at least I know what's wrong, and I think that the answer to that is going to be what is request.metara. Where is this guy? Well, da. Also interesting that I'm doing double request, but this is correct. Uh, then uh, this should also be true. And okay, then let's do Okay. okay, so internal IPs is what's wrong. Because it's an empty list. Supposedly. is happening here. Um, well, I'm importing star, so let's do this. And um, let's case it correctly. So this is not defined. Oh. This may be the difference. Was it in between versions or have I just fuck it up randomly? Okay. Super weird. Super weird. Never mind. So, um,. We can go back to have reasonable middlers, I guess. Wait, uh, let me align those. And now. Uh, So if it still shows, uh, let's move this guy and 
this guy for sure this guy back to here excellent in which now I can go back to here which is production so maybe uh, let's stay on localhost but I can go here uh, well first let's verify we have this on production so if I change Actualita, it's around 300 millisecond and 8 queries This is still loading. <laughs> okay, 1100 queries. What? Um, so this gives, gives us some idea. I would also love to change the language of this, but I probably can't because that's Uh, this is uh, based on the application setting, I would say. Okay, so who's producing 1100 SQL queries in admin? And the answer is... So string for creations is using solve.name. Let's take a look. Uh, and okay, so one is returning self.name and self.name is doing so oh it's doing self.user But Nick, why is this a problem? Are you telling me that Soviet user is not cached? That would be um, kind of ridiculous. So uh, uh, let's just try to unwrap this. Um, This is iterating on all choices. For some option group and well, just for the purpose of it. If I would display, if the display name would be a nickname, how many queries would we have? Ten. Fair. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Why is it this rendering it as a choice? Oh wow, okay, I see.
No, wait. Like, is this seriously showing all authors? Because my, my guess is, and this is fun if it's true, this is enumerating all, uh, oh, so this is probably enumerating all authors. And the problem is that the moment I start querying the name, and th this is a join, I assume. And the moment The moment I start, yeah. So it takes 35 milliseconds to take all outers. Ooh, and uh, fuck. And the moment I start displaying uh, the author's name, um, True a query, uh, it does a query uh, per author uh, to display that, which is of course suboptimal. One option, uh, also cache next on author's names. Uh, the other option would be to fix it for that particular widget. But apparently we'll have this problem whenever uh, we are displaying outer somewhere. Um, so is there a way to fix it? So Django online do not last all. I mean, this so doesn't scale even for normal. Like this should be a, a widget that where you do like on type search or something, but This is not optimal. I mean, it will probably work for our scale, but seriously. Uh, let me see whether there isn't something in the model meta fields. First position name DB table. Oh, this good latest by. Oh, this is neat, but don't really need it by which address. 
questions. Um, no. Uh, I'm tempted to say that caching is easier for now. Um, yeah. Caching is easier and also that uh, we need to change this for everything now because if I go for example here this will also do a query per yeah this is definitely doing a query per user also why why is it not actually showing the SQL queries? This is not going to be as fast as previous version. I mean, we've been do usually doing like uh, three SQLs per page. Um, Okay, let me see overall. If I'm going to block toolbar, not showing the SQL query. I'm quite sure that I'm not doing threading and uh, also I'm quite sure that this is not just hidden since yeah, it is explicitly saying none so this is not it Shrink uh, sequels as none. This is exactly it. Oh, so this is uh, apparently an interaction with uh, my SQL driver. And we have the old one and we can't do anything about it. So never mind. This is going to be for the next version. All right, in which case, in which case, I think that I have an outstanding uh, outstanding um, model updates in the forum. Okay, so let's pause this for a moment uh, because this will require schema upgrades. Uh, go back to forum and then uh, upgrade this on top of that. Uh, since not many users are going, uh, this should fix it. So um, fix query pair. No. For author's nickname, solution number one, uh, the public 
replicate author's name. Uh, solution number two would be to pre-join everywhere, including admin far away future. Um, this will be on me. It's a production bug, I would say. Um, definitely for now and for the expired milestone. So with that revelation, uh, let me make a break and be, be back in five minutes. Right, so I'm back with some tea. Uh, that should make uh, this development session way more enjoyable. 
So, um, let me commit the debug toolbar to a branch. I don't feel like solving this uh, now. Uh, let's name the branch appropriately. It's uh, debug toolbar. Such or it doesn't bring anything to users. Such or Django debug toolbar setup. Push it somewhere and let's go back to forum. Also of note, the one I just added, uh, let's put it on, put it in doing. All right, let me write the last reacts afterwards. So um, I have been displaying forum, that wasn't a problem. The problem was figuring out the rendering, uh, the user star and the CSS. Right, so this will be the embarrassing session as promised uh, with me trying to do CSS. Um, nobody wants to see that, but alas, uh, this is exactly what's needed on projects. People doing stuff they don't understand. There are unemployed migrations. So this brings a question of what is my late, latest migration? Uh, if you do manage by help. So there is show migrations. Oh, I haven't done the ones that actually do the forum migration. So let me let me rename them. So these migrations since I haven't applied them yet. Uh, by and 5.0 oh, we have 50 migrations. That's starting to look like serious project. So let me run the migration. So if I to manage by migrate, and this means that I need to properly rename dependencies manually, apparently. Coolio. Uh, so now we have. Forum without any migration warnings. Mm. It just needs reloads, which breaks the registered namespace. Um, and this is because 
cos in that local dot pi I'm still appending regardless of whether I have added it somewhere so this works better. So now we have the forum. And now we need styling. So one thing that's definitive, let's take a look at the original production. So if I look at forum, eh. At the original site, and let's look up similar skin. So what's obvious here is that we need to account for icons that have width 40 and width 50 pixels, and it's not scaling. Which I'm not sure uh, is something that I want to do or not. Um, let's also look up. This guy is fixed, so user icon. This should probably be a separate discussion, so discussions and uh, dot user icon is with uh, 40 pixels and height 50 pixels so that's given I mean, um, it is not saying pixels actually, <laughs> and the unit is undefined, and I just do wonder what we do, but anyhow. Uh, it's this guy, and just out of curiosity, if I would draw uh, border one pixel and border uh, this, no, uh, border. Color black, would it show? Also, does it need a content? But um, I wanted to get a support for users with a icon, so. Here we have that. Okay, that's fine. Um, so the important thing is that this folds left and the what is it? The dot comment is display uh, display follow out. Hmm. No, that's not what I want, actually, apparently. Since in this case, uh, this, is, this is more like a grid. Oh, 
what was the one that I've decided to use for the whole uh, notification because that what that's what decided the minimal requirements so that's main CSS so I've decided to go with flex I mean, theoretically, why not? So this is going to be flex and user icon is just going to be order zero. Um, and then uh, this container needs a second wrapper uh, so it's, it's going to be user icon and then it's going to be Command. Um, uh, it's not really text because text is only then subset, but let's call it main. Where is the main pink? Means that it should be command main. Uh, otherwise, uh, main is a bit too generic. Uh, yeah, I should probably learn how to use BAM uh, system. So, comment main is order one. Since you're programmers, obviously, so um, that's. is unrelated and actually let me see how that word worked so no margin padding to And content forty to seventy because of the padding. Uh, so padding to with forty pixels and this be sorted out so why am I having those different ideas and the reason is that the text is not in comment um, and this should be the command header and I think that this is not done using paragraphs, but using breaks, unfortunately. Yep. Meaning that um, this can safely be a paragraph. So this works better. 
uh, except for that tiny little detail that the user icon is not the same width for some reason uh, so this is width of 20 and this is width of 40 why? because I made a typo made a typo but it doesn't change anything no changes found why why is this Right, because this item was sent to shrink. Okay. Uh, so, can I do flex shrink? Right, because this element is longer. Okay, let me revisit uh, that flex model. As in um, whether I can set the minimum width. Ability for effects item to shrink if necessary. Well, does it mean I can't have? Good. I mean, I want to have two elements. I want uh, just to if I can have flex start. That's the default. I just want to have the first element fixed and the second flexible. X base is zero. factor. Oh, okay. So if flex shrink is going to be zero, 
then the first one should flex. Yeah, this is the one that is breaking correctly. Okay, so this is a good start. And um, now, oh, handling icons, that will also be fun, actually, because that's also user uploaded content. But okay, um, Uh, let's just sort the first issue, uh, first row while at it. Uh, so space between is what I want, right? Okay, so justify content flex between uh, wait and that's that's for the command header. Uh, so command header justify content space between. It's not doing what I want. And the reason may be that this is display inline and not display block. So this would uh, this would only work on block items. So one idea would be to put display block. Um, the other one would be to make them float. Would that work? Um, That we are in it. Uh, I would love in my book. Okay. Hmm. So I'm defining that as inline block. I mean, why not? So command header time is display inline block. Well, inline flex and command header then uh, yeah and line flex this is actually potentially going to be important uh, when we will add that new marker and it 
seems that I keep finding new versions how to not change anything. Zero and order one. Comment main and maybe this also needs display flex. Well, I definitely change stuff. <laughs> oh, right. No, this guy, no. Uh, it is the. Oh. How it works. Well, no, actually, it's still not floating, but comment header is what may need a uh, display flex. So cool, except in reverse order. Uh, so time is the spawn one and spawn dot nick, I believe. Yep. Okay, and let's not forget to save that uh, display flex. Cool. Uh, I would say this is a bug, so this 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 works better. And the only thing that I may want to change is that this has a weird color. So let's use it. Um, I think that this was actually universal. Uh, so. This should give it a taste of uh, how developers design stuff. So designers can scream in horror and contribute. So this works well, except for those weird guys. Why? Or is it not going to the right? Right, because uh, this is only stretching to the length of the comment and not length of the row. Maybe it shouldn't be flex, maybe it should be grit. In this case, is this like Oh, because this is very recent, that's why I haven't used it. <laughs> but fortunately, I'm developing this for so long that um, browsers catched up. Oh, 
both columns and rows. I mean, for this thing in particular, I'm fine with flex. It's just I want to I want the flex to stretch all remaining space. Horizontal space. Free space on the main axis. Okay. So the only thing I need is for the main to grow to consume all the remaining space. Cool. Let's commit this before I destroy it. the ticket name the ticket name was hundred twenty and now comes the main challenge well among the main challenges um, Use the star and also use the icon bar. Sweet. Let's figure out the BR tag because that one is everywhere. So that was the HTML encode wallet HTML. And I have a feeling that there was a test for it even. And those guys is what I need to fix. So the CDC is a test, dot test HTML. This should fail, and if you're able to fix it, um, then the form should be good for time being. Right. I have no memory of that code. So we went for the tech stack. We looked for a candidate string. All those max maximum look ahead. Right, uh, so this is that. Okay. So this is how it 
To discover the candlelit string, okay. And the other option would be so the tuck candidates tuck and string closed would be that we are in the string and the look ahead is not plus one but plus three And let's only do this, right, let's only do this if the initial lookup fails. And in this case, If the string ends with slash, No, actually, let's do it immediately here because um, what we can do is write strip slash and for the white space variant, write strip white space. which doesn't modify the strings since strings are immutable makes this slower again but for our purposes should work let's see and this should allow all non pair tags to be immediately terminated like this. No guarantees. <laughs> well. What the fuck? So we have correctly detected and replaced. Right, but the replacement doesn't take into account the... Oh god, uh, doesn't take in... Um, Uh, the, the the amount of uh, the amount of characters in the string that we have to skip uh, doesn't take those into account and hence Did 
this needs counters so if the tech candidate string ends with slash Uh, and then with white space because this can be combined. This is not optional. Um, so here we set additional look. Uh, skipped zero and either of those at one and in here uh, we have to account for that Okay. This improves uh, our handling, so let's see how it looks now. Way better. Way better. So if I go back on production because this shouldn't be that far. Uh, this is June of two thousand eighteen. This looks the same. Ta da. Okay, so minus the icon, which we're going to fix in the next situation, and minus post and minus. The star, we're good, so you know. Minus all the actually difficult stuff. Uh, uh, so, um, display. Um, properly render break tags. And this actually references both the forum, but also we had this issue about parser. Um, Oh. Okay. Uh, so let's also mark it as one. Push it, and this is actually deployable. 
So I'm now thinking whether or not to deploy forum do that production fix. Uh, so we fix the layout because that seems more urgent and then go back to improve the rest of the forum again. Uh, so HTML rendering figured out. That's good. Uh, the dashboard is on. The HTML was easier than I expected. <laughs> um, I have thought that I'll encounter more problems. Oh, and our debug tool log commit fig uh, failed. Why? Because there's a leftover print. <laughs> Good to know. Well, I mean, at least it's not going to uh, be excellently deployed. Oh, come on. Give me uh, Circle CI dashboard. I don't have to reauthorize, right? No. The other thing is that uh, once I'm not lazy, uh, this should actually be done on the GitHub Actions. I don't think that uh, for this purpose uh, I need Circle CI anymore. Alas. And meanwhile, uh, the problem we are going to fix uh, beside extending the model with the cache is also uh, with the migration commands. Uh, because uh, either Hmm. Either I should delete all authors again, or I can. I should just add um, a no cache option that would update authors in place. Uh, but I'm going to say let's just delete it uh, and. I haven't done the pull request yet, have I? No. So, forum kickoff. Should be green. Merging can will deploy. Um, meaning I can safely pull and rebase this. Access SQL and for one on creations, uh, let me extend the outer model with uh, user Nick. And user nick means that. What's 
do it as a fallback. Uh, if self user nick exists, then return it. And if not, uh, and it's not user nick, it's display name. I mean, uh, it's not returning, it's uh, displaying. So link to display name, I mean. Uh, let's do that query. Well, we are never updating anything. Make updates, propagate. And when I'm saying that, it means that in users, I definitely should mark make as read only. How do I do that? Um, Dot disabled one dot nine and we are on two dot or what? Okay. This is form field, uh, but there will be only one specific form allowing that. Unexpected keywords. Nah. Um. Disable field edit for Django admin. So, I mean, this probably makes sense uh, to have a dedicated admin for that. Okay. I mean, in the same way, nobody should be updating password. Support for ICQ, so cute. Let me see how it's done in admin. Right, also this is uh, not exposed in admin yet. Which makes sense. Um, so let me keep it at that. Let me keep it at that. Okay. Uh, so dot nick uživatel, so it means that for the migration, for the migrate authors, um, If other side uh, user is profile, other is other profile, and uh, 
gosh, I'm super bad at renaming. Uh, make of the user. Well, in this section, let me be proper English in the new one. So Nick is, let's call it Nick as opposed to, oh, sorry, user Nick, user Nick, it makes sense. So user Nick is author name. No, it isn't because we are not putting it uh, to dot lower. So it's creation dot author. Author. Let's not make the same mistake. Theoretically, this can create the same issue as here. So let me copy paste. And you're going, I mean, should this be? Since we're going to do this now for everything, Well, everything except for websites, so let's so come to center encoding uh, for registered user. This is for anonymous user. And in this case, we're actually not really created in the model, uh, interested in the model because it's about registered user. Okay, so let's take, let's do this locally. So Python managed by lead authors. Well, first uh, create migrations. And name is going to be uh, outer cache Nick. Uh, it's not create migrations, but make migrations, of course. And then let's well, let's verify what's in, just so I don't do anything stupid. Looks good. Let's migrate. And now delete authors. And now migrate authors again. And if you remember, this needs T. So let it run and meanwhile, let's just take a look at the deployed production version. Uh, I mean, new production version. And the forum seems to be there indeed. Cool, yeah. And since this is for uh, authors only, uh, I should probably add some distance here, some padding. Um, this should probably be Nick even for public users. So let's do that later on. Um, so, so far we're going only, the, uh, having only the problems with uh, anonymous authors. But anyhow, uh, let's fix this and make sure that uh, they're not fucking it up on in admin. Uh, fix that HTML and see where we go. So I would say 
continuing in 527 roughly. So I will let the stream and see you then. I lied, I'm back earlier and just finished running. And as you can see, it really seems that the problems are only with the anonymous authors. Uh, so this seems fine. And now the only missing piece is that in uh, creations, uh, Oh, we already did this. Excellent. So then the only thing that's missing is that, let's see, in locals, uh, let me re-enable the bug toolbar. And in URLs, is where I had to add that uh, where I had to add that uh, under under debug um, I should be able to do it in the debug toolbar So this guy and this is what's needed and now if I so first uh, if I take a look at the site like for example you know articles a server should be running. That's a good start. Um, so from jungle.com imports um, import settings. This should be probably here. So I can remove it or commit it easily. Uh, so from jungle.com import settings. And this six is still suspiciously high. I would say that something is still wrong here. So what would happen if I wouldn't be defensive over there? And just uh, 
uh, always did this. Would it work? It would. So there are apparently other issues. Um, but so uh, let's verify that in admin. Um, here is where we get the real close amount of queries. And that's not the case anymore. So all authors are dumped with one query. It is still kind of ridiculous to do this. Uh, but survivable. All right. We have an issue for that. So let's add the migration. And cache authors nicknames. Just out of curiosity, uh, on that production, how fast is this? I mean, this is. Not fast. What is happening here? I mean, it will probably be uh, easier once we'll be able to upgrade um, and profile properly. But just out of uh, curious, I mean the locals will, no, this can't be appended. It can be appended. The middleware can be there. Uh, it will just not show because of the URL. Um, but it shouldn't cause an exception, right? Never mind. Uh, so me not so it out right now uh, but let me also just take a peek at um, that common article list All we're doing here is reading attributes. So author display tag is the only thing that could cause issues. We 
which would be the creations. And here we are also on the accessing attributes. So unless I'm doing also something stupid in the profile URL, because the name is now cached. And I am. And all of this is to display slug, okay. And the only reason why is this copy pasted is the website. And that's only because of the slug. So let's do that. So if author type is website and display name is web. Uh, else if If there would be unknown type that would be actually propag propagated from the self name, so let me do else display name is self dot name. And this can only happen if also only happen on self dot name. So let's simplify to this. Okay, um, where am I? <laughs> right. So let's just take a look at this. This seems to be doing reasonably well. Okay. Let me Add this so uh, fix uh, simplify older profile URL and skip additional query. And it goes back to one, two, three. That's a nice bug number, I mean. This should be ready for a pull request as well. So fix access 
SQL queries. And wait for it. This will need migration. Um, migration and the uh, delete and uh, we import authors. Okay. And once this is done, uh, I can go back to forum and take a look whether to sort out anything else. I mean, at least the make links I think should be fine. I mean, that's only a simple tag. So hopefully no dragon slider. Uh, author detail with author ID. Uh, well, no, not author, user. User detail with uh, profile ID and next look. Uh, and that's going to be in the forum list. Here. Actually, this command render is a star. Uh, I should, I should know this should be template tag. Like asking a model to render a view. Uh, that's a bad habit because uh, this whole framework is based on the idea of uh, separation of model view and controller. And asking model to do uh, view renders is just breaking those responsibilities. And I mean, uh, Django isn't Django itself isn't purely MVC. Um, like, it doesn't claim to be MVC anyway. Uh, they have created some other shortcuts uh, to kind of account for, let's say, more pragmatic uh, approach that they're using. Uh, but it should be noted. So this branch will not need. Um, let me pull, uh, pull the master then. And go to go back to forum which I need to rebase, I think. And now that we are there, uh, I can do this, which actually means that I think that I can remove the span. But it's only uh, that's only true if this was done by a registered user. Okay. And but but oh god! But once I. Cry, crap, this needs to be done. So the way this worked in the original version is that there was a left outer join on nickname um, on the user profile model. So it was all a single query. The moment I would uh, try to ask methods, I would uh, exactly enter that SQL per row problem. 
So let me see if there is a good way to do this in Django. I have a feeling that we are going into the area of having to write quite a bit of tests. Uh, so select this thing on case when it's left out to join payment records on payments topic ID equals payments record topic ID. Record user journey record value. Oh, So left auto join should work for me. Whoa, so left join. This marks case when okay. So this is where I have to state again that I actually love SQL as a language. Uh, although the I agree that the interface uh, to the language you're using it in can be tricky. Nevertheless, do you remember how I said it's going to be just a single link? Uh, that's always asking for trouble. So we have a deploy. Let me see whether uh, Heroku agrees. Yep, version 63. Uh, so let's run migrates. Uh, Python edge by migrate on production. Oh, I haven't done the forum migration before. Good to know. Should be part of the deploy pipeline. So now let's delete our authors, which will set the references to nil, since we're doing that to ORM, uh, but it also means it will run a while. And then let's migrate authors. 
The reason why it's running longer on Heroku is uh, not just that the dyno is weaker, but mostly that since the database is running on RDS as opposed to local on the same computer, you have much higher latency per SQL. And um, it's not by that much. It doesn't matter that much if you're doing a reasonable amount of SQLs, um, which is you know, what you should do anyway uh, on production. So it doesn't matter if you're, you know, let's say around a dozen. Uh, but it does matter if you're doing um, uh, if, if you're doing hundreds or in our case it was over thousand, which again you shouldn't do anyway on production. Uh, also, of note, you're back towards those additional warnings. Uh, so yeah, they would also be good to sort out at one point. I mean, I have them saved. Um, but meanwhile, let's take a look on that uh, tiny little problem of uh, of joining forum authors with user models, and that will require a test. I'm not doing this blindly. Uh, it will be a model test since it will need an existing relation and yeah I think that once we go on a lower level and start cr uh, doing like queue queries and whatnot uh, then it's going to get ugly. So, um, let me start this after that was the more complicated test. So let me get an article chain. Let me save the user and apologies. Uh, let me save uh, the user from the model generator. Uh, yeah, this, this is not saved, so I have to save it. And I don't need author and I don't need article actually. So let's say fuser. And the only other thing we'll need is that forum. And for a comment in forum, we'll do forum.objects.create. And let's see what attributes are there. So nickname, uh, which is the self user name. Actually, let's call it Nick. And um, this is the profile user. Let's me create a property for that because this is getting really close. So property uh, Nick and let's create that long form name. So nickname is self.user.nick. Uh, that this lost me forum object. Uh, email is actually something to be deprecated. So to do this should be uh, well deprecated for registered users. We have some legacy users, but I would argue that for those we shouldn't display the email anyway. It's like 
Yeah, it's breaking stuff. So email is. Just test email. Um, text is thanks for the um, order comment. Uh, okay, this is by authorized user, so like it's going to be one. And reputation is going to be zero. As a default, reputation handling is one other big area that um, is to be sorted out. Uh, I, I'm thinking whether it's a requirement for launching it. But I believe that uh, for the grace period, I don't know. Uh, let's make a ticket for that. Uh, that is actually part of the original site. Uh, so new issue is going to be reputation. Uh, Playing on proper comments, voting and limiting, and voting limit, voting day limit refill. That was done by Cron. It's a question whether. This is uh, whether, whether to do it in the same way here. Um, definitely not a good first issue. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. So I have a comment. And uh, what I wanted to have is so fuser gets I guess profile U URL. which isn't here. And it should How am I rendering? the URL on the main side again. I'm blind now, so user username. Icon, admin link, log off. Here, so user detail. Very key and slack. I vote for 
checking the sun attributes. So user dots uh, profile URL. And back in the users that I closed again, uh, let's do a property that's called profile URL and Return reverse search um, which is this is a user detail and so dot Primary key and sort dot lock. This is also to a degree a violation of the MVC separation, uh, but it stems from the fact how Django pushes a lot of stuff into the model. I mean, alternative. Uh, because alternative edits could be handled in templates. Um, the, yeah. I mean, the proper proper way would be to uh, have a different object as a value holder, like the one that Django considers model and a domain object, but. That's not to be sorted now. Um, so reverse that we need to import. Uh, I keep forgetting where it is. So let me look it up here. Is it in your, is it in your Yes. Uh, so. So this should give us um, if we start the server a link that is not going correctly. And the reason potentially also is that I have done user user which is the Django user as opposed to our profile user that we are doing everything with. They included your your looking for one. Uh, I probably need to Add those as keywords. So let me just get there. So, um, let me look it up in real. Uh, it's late here. I'm getting tired. Tired. It is good. Okay. Uh, so, like 
this and um, user profile ID and next look. Okay. Uh, right, we are in dictionary. This is working correctly. And uh, now that you have that, um, I can say that the profile URL of the user should be same as so votes. This is going to be too wide. Uh, same as self dot command dot outer URL user profile URL okay So we have a property called user profile URL and oh, I'm really starting to be tired. Uh, let me return this to make sure that the rest of the test is kind of sound. Uh, let me catch up with uh, some of my notifications. This is a dot, well, it is dot tests. Uh, but uh, here you can see how the schema creation takes uh, so long. And I think that it may be that actually Django is running the migrations at the beginning of the test, I'm not so sure about. Because it feels like it's getting longer and longer. Um, so maybe it is the correct time to flatten uh, the migrations at some point. Let me see about it. Nevertheless, um, this can go away and What I'm thinking is uh, how to properly query this and uh, encapsulate it. So test and view uh, use the same well, what's going to be a relatively complicated model query. Uh, 
one solution would be to get uh, object model, but the other one would be, I think that I can uh, do a class methods. So this would be get joint um, gets objects uh, with users. Let's call it this way. So comments will be forum get objects with users dot all and I'll take the first one and it's going to be the comments we are will be testing and just to see if this approach will work. Uh, if I return cls.objects, that should give it uh, the correct version. And now the question is, how is this going to be merged? So I have to go back to that SQL thingy. So left join is going to be this. which I would exp extract later on. And we'll have class objects annotate. So this worked because it returned an instance and you're talking to it. It's just that I haven't yet decided on which, uh, which attribute this stuff is. Uh, but we'll do annotates and on annotate will be the well what's the user So user is going to be left join. Of uh, I assume that the record is the model. on the topic, so we are on topic, right? Record on the under value, how is it, how has that figured it out? Record. So the result field oh, 
crap that new guy about it. So jungle curry and it's Okay, so a number of, so we, yes, so we'll add a user, which now will be, so if self user, then I'll do self dot user dot um, self dot user dot get a URL And otherwise, that's a good question. Since this is going to be used in templates, also, well, let me return none. Um, So, um, sorry, and let's get profile URL, right? Uh, no, just profile URL. Okay. I should really probably follow that same convention. So if you have self user, uh, then return the profile URL. And we'll annotate the user, so that's correct. And now the left join magic. So records under and the user close Johnny record under under user equals Johnny I mean this is the case in which The and now also is the uh, is the question like is this model or is this the DB table? But what I'm hearing is that uh, user profile under under make uživatelé. equals me and then that's where I write where is the journey come from? All right, so that's a filter. So we're filtering based on uh, so this is user object, and I actually don't want to filter for particular objects. I 
just want to join. I haven't he been that deep in uh, jungle filtering for a while, for a long while. This is not helping. Let me see. So annotate will give me that uh, additional attributes. Uh, but now the question is, how do I? Do it as a join on self. So let me Google again. Uh, so Django query sets. Well, uh, Django uh, left out the join without foreign key. That's correct. Since I only have. Um, Uh, character Wait, so that's extra So I want to add a field called Latin Zone. So will subquery really do a join? Well, hopefully, let's try. This always looks promising and more uh, readable. Um, so user will do subquery. And the subquery will be uh, user profile that I need to import. So from users import user profile. And let me uh, so is a profile objects dot I mean it's not filter even it should be. Well, so I don't want the values actually, I want the whole thing. Let's alter f on nickname. So let's see what this does. I'm slightly skeptical. <laughs>
parent should contain one columns. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I could happens if I do this. So what exactly is after F doing? This is not a real document, it's so jungle outer ref. You can add an explicit. Oh, so this is doing subqueries. It's just it's doing them on server, so fine. Um, but this is not what I want. I don't want where calls, I want join calls. So let me try again. So it again is F. Value or mother field or annotated column. Okay, so this is sending no, this is still not helping. So subquery out outer of no. This is subquery, I don't want that either. Okay, so Okay, so maybe I could do this. Like adding So on. Uh, 
Query.join. Okay, now you're getting somewhere. Subquery autoref, no. So department and then values first, okay. So in theory, So let's maybe experiment with this. Like, what would happen if I changed the model? And, well, this will not work with the misencoded keys. It will, because it, uh, it's misencoded on the other side. So what if nickname Can it use a different, no, so what if uh, nickname would be models.foreign key um, that would be pointing to user profile to field Uh, no would be allowed on delete would be the models dot nil and we shouldn't do that anyway and db constraint would be false. Um, and max length would be six. And I think that the, this will not work because uh, this is a potential not to work because of uh, the Because for anonymous users, it will contain uh, bad references, and I'm not sure Frankie can deal with that. So let's give it a prototype shot. And if this will not work, uh, then let me end it for today and uh, continue tomorrow. Is just in that case, this would be just return class objects and user profile URL would be uh, 
self dot make a name dot profile URL. Well, um, as a temporary stopgap. ID, of course. Uh, so, can I do from field? options three dot one not there yet right so also let's do do nothing instead of set new And foreign key is still a key, right? I mean, a field. So it should accept DB colon to be just equal to nickname. So let's see how this works. Meanwhile, uh, migration has finished on production. Uh, so if we refresh it, And then we got everything correctly. And if I go to admin and go to alchemist tools and go to problematic article, it is rendered indeed. So if I go to the end and fix the tuck problem, and I refresh out uh, Alchemist tools, I still have a problem. <laughs> because I haven't saved. And that is because it doesn't contain mandatory fields and I'm almost sure that those are not mandatory. So it's going to be another migration. Duh, another issue. Fix mandatory fields for alchemist. Um,
just say a link. Um, this is definitely on me. It is a production issue. And it's a quality issue. And I will want, well, I am in a way working on it. Uh, so let's do that, but just a prefecture. I cannot assign author. Forum.nickname must be a user profile instance. Right. So this will work on. Oh. This will work in the test but not necessarily in production because here I am doing this using um, the models and that works differently. And I bet that Django can't do this if well I'm overshadowing uh, the object with a string. I'm actually not sure what be what would be the convention for handling this. Since it needs an internal attribute to handle it relation. Right, I can't assign author as author nickname. <sighs> well, just for sanity check, what I can try doing is that we can take a look at run server. And I can take a look at what's happening in forum. And that is correctly displaying user profile object. Which is neat. So I think that this is actually the way to go. Um, since I can have nickname as a missing misencoded char field and then user profile. That is hacked like this. Hmm. Except it detects the conflict. Well, nevertheless, but if I will not use the nickname. I will use user profile. Then... Uh, Hmm. 
This should work well on all cases where there is a valid foreign key. And the question is just going to be... What will happen for the foreign keys that are not dead? The question is how many of those are there, which is easy to check. Uh, wait, and um, well, user profile URL is correct, and. user profile dot make or is the problem? So renaming that caused it not to work. What? So I'm calling this a day. Uh, and It is true that for the purpose of how many forum displays we are displaying, um, this is reasonable to do using, s I mean, it is a hack, but potentially we could really just display using subqueries and cache. Um, this is an annoying limitation. Alternatively, uh, we, we can do what we do with um, others uh, with um, creations, and it's probably cleaner, uh, which means uh, let's migrate and add a field. And I'm saying this is what should be done there. Uh, so let me add um, add user relation. Uh, well, uh, add model and add user uh, relation to profile where applicable and treat it as a cache. I think that's going to be a way better approach. Um, which means that um, let's call all of this. <laughs> Let me take a diff and I th think that all of this should go away. Well, except that link Okay, so let's um, let's kill this guy. And uh, right, and the 
slash a is also incorrect. And this is now reasonable, so let's just comment it as a small fix. I like more like char. Uh, char. At uh, user profile dot profile URL method. Which kind of relates to the ticket, although not really. All right. So that's it for today. Uh, thanks everyone for the attention and I'll hope to see you tomorrow. Have a good day.